Prior research has established that our perceptions are significantly influenced by our memories, particularly our social experiences and how they're encoded in memory. These experiences can be positive or negative, ranging from feelings of acceptance, connectedness, and value to those of rejection, loneliness, and devaluation. However, the extent to which the valence of these memories affects our perceptions remains unclear and is likely dependent on other variables and enduring individual differences. For instance, the influence of positive versus negative memories may be moderated by individual differences such as trait social anxiety or one's self schema. Previous research has demonstrated that individuals with greater social anxiety exhibit a negativity bias towards negative autobiographical memories, as well as a deficit in retrieving positive information from memory. However, little research has been conducted to investigate the contribution of enduring self-schemas to the impact of positive and negative memories. This study involved recruiting 325 participants from the prolific community who were randomly assigned to retrieve and narrate either a positive or negative autobiographical memory in detail. Participants in the negative condition were prompted to recall a specific past incident where they felt excluded and criticized, while those in the positive condition were prompted to recall a specific past incident where they felt accepted and included. After narrating their memories, participants evaluated their memory characteristics and judged its impact using self-report scales. Eligible participants were between 18 to 35 years old, English was their first language, and they resided in Canada, the UK, or the US. Additionally, participants completed the social phobia inventory to assess social anxiety and the brief course schema scale to measure the strength of their positive and negative self schemas. To investigate the combined and individual effects of memory type social anxiety and self schema on impact ratings, we conducted a series of hierarchical regression analyses. In step one, we entered condition and either trait social anxiety or self schema. And in step two, we included an interaction term between condition and either trait social anxiety or self schema. Figure one displays the interaction effects of trait social anxiety and condition on participants memory impact ratings. Results indicated that individuals with high trait social anxiety tended to rate their negative memories as more impactful than those with low trait social anxiety, which aligns with previous research suggesting a negativity bias among individuals with higher levels of social anxiety. Figure 2 shows the interaction effects of negative self schema and condition on participants memory impact ratings. Findings revealed that participants with stronger negative self schemas tended to appraise their negative memories as more impactful than those with weaker negative self schemas. However, as shown in figure three, people with stronger positive self schemas tended to rate their negative memories as significantly less impactful than those with weaker positive self schemas. In other words, higher levels of social anxiety and negative self schemas lead people to appraise their negative life experiences as impactful on their views of self, others, and the world, but positive self schemas can protect, protect against this negative bias. Thus, in clinical populations, interventions that strengthen positive self schemas could help people appraise their stressful life events less negatively and to decrease their reliance on negative experiences as the basis for their understanding of themselves, others, and the world. Replication and extension of our results are needed in diverse clinical and non-clinical samples.